It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today, it's Thursday, August 17th, 2023. Number one, in January of this year, a six-year-old boy shot his teacher in a Newport News, Virginia elementary school classroom. The gun belonged to his mom, and the child said he found the weapon in his mother's purse in the family home. Tuesday, his mother, identified as Deja Taylor, pled guilty to child neglect. Number two, North Korea is confirming publicly for the first time that African American soldier Travis King crossed into that country. State-run media claimed that King admitted to entering the country illegally and expressed a willingness to seek refuge in North Korea or a third country. The report also said King confessed to harboring ill feelings against inhuman maltreatment and racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. Number three, as we continue our discussion this week about amyloidosis, today's feature continues with the question why that disease is so underdiagnosed. One of the reasons is because the mutated gene is found too late, either after a heart failure or death. Luckily, identifying people earlier and giving them effective treatments has become easier recently with new detection methods and recently FDA-approved therapies. Number four, the Black Male Achievers is a black student organization at a community college in Tallahassee, Florida, but they may have to look for another name or risk losing funding due to Governor Ron DeSantis' anti-woke agenda. Florida law prohibits state and federal funding for student groups that advocate for diversity, equity, inclusion, or other social or political causes. Only student activity fees can be used to fund these groups. They are considering new alternatives like male achievers or scholar male achievers so that they may not have to worry about not getting the funding necessary to keep that organization going. Number five, emergency room doctors are claiming they are not prepared to deal with the increasing number of children with mental health problems. Half a million children with mental health issues are seen in ERs each year, a number that's increased in recent years. Emergency staff can address mental health issues at basic levels, but not manage the long-term cases. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being open to others' beliefs and ideas that you might not agree with is a beautiful expression of love. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with the girlfriends. Yolanda Starks White and I will be talking about the top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. Barbara Scotia College at HBCU in Concord, North Carolina needs our help. The What You Need to Know team is asking our supporters and alumni and friends of Barbara Scotia to help them meet their immediate and pressing needs by donating to help Barbara Barbara Scotia Rise. Please join all of the donors from around the world who are stepping up to save one of the nation's oldest HBCUs. Please visit SybilWilkes.com for more information. And check out the celebration of Black filmmakers rooted in the HBCU culture, November 10th through the 12th, and that's at Howard University's Blackburn Center. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.